thought. He always took his time with her and unless she attacked him and was unrelenting because she just needed to be fucked, he always got her off first. She could not remember a time she had not come with him making love to her. She also knew that whatever he did to her, he enjoyed every moment of doing it to her. She was the same way with him although there were a few times he did, could not come as he made love to her. Most of those times were when he had already come a couple of times and she was able to get him hard again. He had told her he had no problem with not being able to come, he still enjoyed what went on. After a few minutes of him sucking on her nipples she kissed him with an open mouth and they joined tongues. Selena then turned and used her left hooks to take his cock in them and masturbate him. This got him nice and hard and she moved her pussy down and sat on his cock. She still marveled at how good it felt in her even after all this time and the number of times he had fucked her with it. He looked up at her and told her how beautiful and sexy she was with her two hook arms and big beautiful brown breasts facing him. As she rode his cock she lifted her lower arms a little and moved her shoulders back and forth on each side which opened and closed her hooks. She knew Kip loved to see her do this as she rode him. Kip sometimes wished he could thrust his hips up to meet hers but his paralyzed lower body would just not work. He also knew Selena enjoyed it being that way very much and never minded being the one to move herself on him so they could both enjoy the stimulation it caused. Her mouth was open and her head went back every so often telling him she was almost there. She was moaning and he could feel the contraction in her pussy adding more friction as she rode him. She looked him in the eyes and said fuck me, I'm going to come on you and she did causing him to follow her as she buried him in her all the way and squeezed his hard on very hard. She jerked and spasmed for a good 40 seconds before she started to relax. Selena then said he was as good as the first time he fucked her. He flexed it in her saying thanks. There were two straps, one above and the other just below her breasts that held her arms on her. They seemed to outline and accentuate them. Looking down at him as she sat there, she asked what her remembered most about their first days together. Kip said that was easy, do you remember the first time we sat on my couch together? She said yes and he said and when you told me to pull the tail holding that halter you had on to expose you? She said yes, she remembered that and her best memory was that same day. And just before that when she came in the door and you were in shorts, no braces in your wheelchair, seeing your fantastic legs for the first time about did me in. She moved up and down on him several times then asked him to take her arms off so she could lie on his chest. She leaned down and he unfastened the straps and took them off of her. After they were out of the way she put her chest on his and then stretched her legs out with him still impaled in her. Kip hugged her to him then took hold of her arm stumps and massaged them for her. She purred her contentment to him as he did it. They stayed like that for almost twenty minutes when he finally slipped out of her and she raised her head and said I guess that means it's over this time and he said yes until later at bedtime. They kissed passionately and headed to the shower. As Kip was washing and rinsing her off he noticed a red twinge to the water and said looks like it has started and she said yes, why she needed him to fuck her tonight so quick. They kissed and she said this is one of the times I wish I had just one hand so I could grasp your cock or play with your crippled legs. But at the same time not having them far outweighs that feeling. Kip said I am very pleased you are so happy with your decision to have your arms removed. I am very grateful for the pleasure it bring me also. He fastened his chest belt around him and started kissing Selena and as he did he took hold of one of her arm stumps, the very short one, and massaged, and pushed on the end of the bone. After a few minutes of that he fingered her pussy with one, then two and finally three and soon she came hard on them. His middle finger had found her G-spot and he pushed hard on it. When she could talk again she said which one of my legs do you want removed so I can keep your interest way up. He said if you include the hip with it, the right should hold me for a long time. Selena got a very serious look on her face and said any time you want it, and believe it or not, I have been thinking about that very thing. 
Kip had not removed his fingers from her and started moving them around again as they kissed passionately some more. When he withdrew them they had blood on them and Selina asked him to put a tampon in. She would douche after they had their later session. Kip dried Selina then himself and they went into the kitchen and fixed dinner. Selina put only her left arm on and Kip did not put his braces back on. They both stayed naked which was not unusual for them. They ate, cleaned up and went to the computer to check mail etc. Nothing there and nothing on TV so they decided to go back to bed. They used the bathroom and Kip pulled her tampon out. Selina brought a large and two small towels from the bathroom. She knew she should not have too heavy a flow tonight and they both enjoyed sex during her period as they had been doing it since the first one she had after they started going together. Neither one of them had done it at before that, and when she started flowing, they tried and enjoyed it together very much. They had even learned to have, and like, oral sex when she was just out of the shower, having douched, and with a tampon in. Tonight it was just going to be Randy screwing. Kip spread the towel on the bed and Selena asked him to light some candles and turn the lights off. They got in bed and just held each other for a while. Selena scooted down and was able to rub his cock with her longer stump which always felt fantastic to Kip. She took him in her mouth and sucked him into her throat and played with him for a few minutes. She was not trying to get him off just give him a good time. Kip told her if she wanted to sit on him with her back to his face so she could look at his legs, that was fine with him. He had gotten a great look at her earlier and knew she enjoyed doing it that way a lot. Her enjoying his legs was like him looking at her arm stumps and breasts. Selena said thanks, she would do it that way. He asked if she could see them okay or wanted the lights but she said no she was fine. She had gotten him good and hard and sat down on his hard cock. Her pussy was permanently stretched so all of him went in her to his pubic bone. She just sat still for a while then leaned down and rubbed her cheek on his legs. Along with her very strong legs she also had well-developed abdominal muscles, all from having no arms to help her move. Kip could see his hard penis go in and out of her pussy and it quickly turned red. He could tell that she was aroused from both watching his legs and his cock rubbing her insides. In this position his cock rubbed her G-spot a lot and she soon came. She leaned straight back onto his chest and he took hold of her breasts. She asked if he had come and he told her no. She had done such a good job on him earlier, but he was still hard if she needed more. Have at it. He moved one of his hands from her breast and put it between her legs which were wide open the way she was spread back on him. Using a finger he played around the area where his cock went into her pussy. He could hear and feel her reacting to that and then moved his fingers up to her clit. It was way out of it hood and he was able to grasp it and pull on it. This drove her crazy and she said make me come please over and over. She wanted to sit up but he held her to him with his hand on her breast. He started rubbing her clit quite fast and she exploded rocking her hips at the same time. He almost came with her clamped down so hard on him but she stopped too soon. Kip held her that way until they both felt stuff running around his cock and out of her. They decided they had better get up before they made a bigger mess. Kip pushed her to an upright position and with one hand he pulled himself up behind her using the trapeze. He held a towel to their connection and she rose up off him. He kept the towel in place on Selena and she sat with it held in place by one of her legs. Kip wiped off and moved himself to his wheelchair. He put the now bloody bed towel on his lap and then held the towel Selena had in place until she got on his lap. They seemed to be a well-oiled machine doing this as they had done it a lot of times and never had an accident. He wheeled them into the shower and she got on the bench. Kip got the douche bottle and a tampon and joined her putting his chest belt on. He pushed his chair out and closed the door. Getting the water warm he rinsed them off and then soaped them good. Selena stood in front of him with her legs spread so his cum would run out of her. He rinsed them off good again and then all of the mess down the drain. Selena put one leg up on the bench and he gave her the douche. After it ran out he inserted a tampon and rinsed her off again. 
She surprised him and squatted down between his legs pushing them open with her almost armless shoulders. She took his limp cock into her mouth and applied a very strong suction to it. He could look down at what she was doing and see past that to her beautiful breasts and shaved pussy. It did not take long for him to get hard again and then she took all of that down her throat. She let him slip from her mouth and looked up at him saying please come in my mouth, I want it so badly. She went back to deep throating him and using strong mouth suction and in about 10 minutes had him shooting in her throat. She let some of him out so he could give her a squirt or two in the mouth so she could enjoy the taste of his cum. 